Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4 Bulgaria Battle of the Bosporus on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI. So let's get into it. So we have taken the Greek uh, mainland here, but not the archipelago. And we are constantly under attack uh, by the Greek forces. I've already had one allied landing down here. So now I have effectively put fallback lines on all the different areas where they seem to land. Hopefully that can um, ward off an allied invasion, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think we're pretty well set up for the invasion of Yugoslavia. We have uh, some green units here. So I think what I'm going to do is let them attack into me at first. And what I want to do is take Macedonia. We already have Central Macedonia, Thrace, and you can see that these are all claimed states. Dobrugia. So once we have those areas, I want to integrate IMRO militia. And that effectively... Let's see here. We must draw on experience of the Macedonian revolutionaries and form IMRO militia divisions to serve in our army. So we will get... IMRO divisions and then IMRO garrison duties gives us manpower and they will help us garrison those areas. Um, so I'm going to try to hit both of these up uh, after we get Macedonia. I have kind of my cavalry spearhead right here to kind of try to clip off Macedonia and if we're able to get a huge encirclement here that would be good. Uh, we're using martial law for our resistance suppression. And um, I've got a Big Daddy um, MP division I created here. And we do have the MP support regiment. So that's helping a lot with the resistance suppression. And as you can see, resistance is going down there. Resistance is staying pretty high in Romania, though. All right, so let's declare war. retake core states against Yugoslavia and see if they can't attack into us. Uh, our divisions are performing exceptionally well. Even against the allies, when I had an allied landing, they seem to, to perform really well. Okay, so they're going to attack into us. If I can't split my air wings here, it'd be really bad to lose down here. Okay, so it was looking bad there for a moment, and now we're recovering. This isn't doing as well because they don't have the 7-2 artillery. So we're going to integrate the national industry. I don't care about this negative 5% civilian factory hit. And I want to expand the Sofia University. Okay, there might be an opening here. Let's try to get this province and cut around. Oh, they're actually leaving? Okay, let's see what happens. Got some green air going on there. Nice. Okay, so they left. Let's try to attack in here and see what we can do. Maybe I can shift to help them out. Control B, that guy. Okay, he's on the front lines. He's not going to control B. And what kind of threw me off is we've got <laughs> our battle plans aren't looking so hot. But, I mean, we have a few things going for us that are probably not calculated. So let's go ahead, ahead and activate the ciphers for Yugoslavia. Incredibly important. And now we should be doing incredibly well against them. Oh, I don't want to lose that state. Okay, we did.
Okay, so if we can surround and encircle these divisions down here, that would be great. Always got to keep an eye on Greece. Okay, we can purchase armor, and we do have a lot of armor in stockpile. Fuel's looking good. And let me show you real quick what I've been doing with the focus tree. I took all the air kind of focuses because they give me military factories. Uh, we need to attack Turkey to get this. Has full control of Istanbul. And uh, what I want to do is come down and get the extra research slot and then finish this off. Because of all the industrial bonuses that we can get. these guys are going. Why are you down there? So their line got broken up somehow. Actually, if they're attacking into here, that'd be fine. Start attacking all throughout the line, since we have those ciphers procced. And then um, let's take his battle plan off. That's not going to be helpful to us anymore. And we'll try to get Macedonia here. Perfect. Actually, don't let them get around us. So now they're going to be able to shuffle a lot less easy. These guys are still trying to get around me. Oh no, the Italians are attacking. And I'm not in the Axis right now. So it looks like I m it might have taken a little too long for me to get my act together here. Saw some overruns down there. So if we can get, get control of these states here, that would be awesome. Let's see how the air looks. Okay, they're no longer attacking into here. We should do really well now. Let's see if we can't get any of these other Macedonian states here. See how powerful those 7-2 divisions are. Oh, Hungary's attacking too. Jeez. Let's change the direction of this offensive. Just try to hit up the coast. as quickly as possible. See what we can achieve here. Okay, got the fighter twos. Uh, that's got a little bit too expensive there to go for the cast three. Get a huge research bonus. We need to catch up on our research for sure. need those tips of Macedonia, the tip of Macedonia here. Let's see if 
there's anything for me to click over here in events and decisions. Hearts of Iron 4 is keeping you busy with the Battle of the Bosphorus with the, the decisions. If you even want more things to do, you should play Spain. They've got a lot of different decisions. Okay, so these guys can head back up there to the line. Let's get everyone moving quick. Looks like Italy wants to move us off the coast here. See if we can't spearhead down to the coast. And we can get another operative. One of our operatives passed away. Let's get kissy face guy. And uh, let's just have him root out resistance here. Wow, a lot of resistance up here. Okay, so we should have the mainstay of Macedonia there. So let's integrate the IMRO militias. No divisions in basic training, that's fine. Our equipment stockpiles look fine. Let's make sure we got green air. We do. No upgrades on the generals. Okay, this is looking a little wonky. Why do we have seven divisions going there? Stack them all on the main targets here. Uh, okay, we, okay, sweet. We can make it to the coast. Keep going, boys. I don't know why the Hungarians stopped there. There's some border gore for you. Let's take all these guys and put them on the coast here. a biplane. The sound of that airplane is so weird. Oh no. What to do? What to do? Let's take my spearhead and put him down here. Wow. Wow. They basically just attacked everywhere that I wasn't. Good for you, AI. Main priority to get back into Athens. If we have any stragglers here, I'm going to take them. don't seem to be doing much. We'll take you too. See if we can save Greece. Man, they got me good there. Not sure if that's going to be enough. Okay, let's hope that that's enough. Oh, man. So, basically, I've been told by several of my viewers that you're able to attack into Greece without the allies coming into power. However... I'm not sure how this works because uh, that kind of goes against what the wiki says. Let's get my Air Force down here in Greece because this is more important. Holding on to this land. Um, so I'm going to keep on playing. I might live stream Bulgaria a few more times just to see if uh, I can get 
things working. Okay, so we're completely shut off here, which is good and bad. Oh, so we integrated the IMRO and the other decision went away. That's interesting. The allies might have trapped themselves here as well. We have all the ports. So this could be a really bad failure on the part of the allies. Especially since all my forces can now focus in this area. And the next thing I kind of want to do after I get the extra research slot is integrate into the Axis. It only makes sense now because actually Turkey has its air it's independence guaranteed by the Axis. Don't I don't know why that is. There might be in a Battle for the Bosporus event in decision or focus tree thing that creates that. It's probably just to balance the game a lot. So that Bulgaria can't do what I'm doing right now. But who knows? Let's get these boys moving. That control B, man, is really good for the micro, let me tell you. Okay, and now all these allied guys are basically stuck here. And we are performing quite well because we have the artillery expert and uh, also Zilkov, the cavalry genius, as well as excellent generals. And so I'm getting this question a lot. Doesn't the artillery expert only work with division templates that are totally artillery? So we're using 7-2 here. And um, this is an infantry division, is listed as an infantry division. I looked on the wiki and basically it says nothing about the, the artillery expert modifying a division. It only says artillery. So from that, I take, um, I take it that all of your artillery in your divisions are buffed. So if I'm wrong about that, please leave me a comment down below, and we'll get this all sorted out. Oh, are there any other buttons to push? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to kick the allies out again. And then I guess the next thing to do would be we're probably going to look at a Barbarossa here pretty quickly, I would assume. Let's see what we can get in terms of air experts. Air safety, accident chance, negative 10. Oh, this guy would be good. What do we need? We need to have communism. Okay, we're not going to have communism. Look at how much manpower we have. That's awesome. And that should only increase. Okay, let's go for the air safety expert. I don't see a lot of other things to push here. I might have screwed up the IMRO activities. Uh, let's see. See if there's any modifiers for our occupied territories here. Not seeing anything. IMRO, stability negative 10, improve relationship, trade trade deal factor. As Pillbox20 says, everyone hates you. Okay. Huh. So I'm not quite sure what I did. I apologize, guys, with that IMRO activities. And we're just getting overruns everywhere. It's overrun city here. And Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Interesting. <laughs> So we can get into Barbarossa here, and I think that it would be wise to just let um, this alone. Okay, so we got some divisions here. Okay, I see that. All right. Oh, boy. Let's see what this template is. Okay, it's not the best, but they could definitely help us hold the coastline.
Let's just get these guys with Markov. And then they can help hold these different areas. Okay, so we got some extra divisions. That's nice. And uh, let's line up for a Barbarossa here. And as we found out on the Polish playthrough, um, I did Poland and I tried to open up another front down here in the Caucasus. It makes supply impossible unless you probably had like a supply expert or something like that, which I don't as Bulgaria. So basically, if you want to attack into Russia, don't do it through Turkey. There's just not enough infrastructure through here. So I'm fine with leaving Turkey alone. My plan from here was to go to Turkey, but since we are in Barbarossa, we need to take what the game gives us. Well, there's a, actually a river there. Shoot. Maybe we could punch a hole across that river and cut them right there and make a few encirclements. Oh. So this guy has... A field marshal upgrade, most likely. And we're pretty much in this Ukraine province? No. We're still in the Eastern Balkans. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so my guys are all going to head up north. The Allies should have taken a huge bruising there. They've lost 1.25 million. Uh, we've lost 200k. That's significant for a small minor nation. And what I really need to do... Can stop doing ciphers for Yugoslavia. They don't exist. And let's hold off on decrypting the ciphers for United Kingdom. And let's go for the Soviet Union here. And we'll prepare for the Bulgarian Barbarossa next... Um, if resistance is, is good enough, it looks like it's improving quite a bit. We can move some of our spies into Russia and start getting some bonuses over there. So we can greatly improve our battle plans here with the spies. So we'll get them into position. And we'll kind of see what happens with the front here. Maybe there's going to be an opportunistic window that we can exploit. Uh, we'll have to see in the next video. But thanks for joining me, guys. And please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.